My name is Ginger McCutcheon, and I'm a Women's Army Corps veteran from the U.S. Army. I served 1976 to 1978. I love the fact that I started out like a Private Benjamin and grew along the way, you know. It's the, like, I came from a very sheltered family and had no idea what was in store for me, but I learned really quick in basic training, so. So you really didn't have anyone to tell. And the only way that uh, anyone realized it was my uh, colonel that worked at the hospital in the x-ray department. He said, I don't know what's going on with you, but he said, something's happening and you need to say what it is. And when I told him, he said, we need to get you out of here before you go out of your mind kind of thing. And um, he set it up so that I could get an honorable discharge. And that's why I only had two years of service. I had gotten in with the opportunity that I was gonna be a lifer. You know, so every time someone says, how long did you serve? It's almost like a re-traumatization because I had planned to have a career in the military. He said, I saw a gentleman drop his fork on his plate and you came off the ground that far. And he goes, are you going to the VA to get any help for that? He didn't know what I had been through, but he just saw that I was obviously traumatized by somebody dropping a fork on a plate. And uh, I said, I can't go to the VA. I don't, I'm not missing any body parts. Nothing happened to me, you know, uh, in combat or anything like that, I can't go there. And he said, oh yes, you can. And he actually took me and signed me up for VA healthcare. And that was the first I got any help. It's kind of a really cool story that DAV has given me a purpose to try to channel what I missed in the military and my service that I can serve others and still feel like I'm doing something.